Cornell was very angry with me. I've never seen him this angry in a long time. You must have done something wrong. He cannot just be angry now. To the best of my knowledge, I didn't do anything wrong. He, he just said that I was childish and he walked out on me just like that. <sighs> Childish. Sorry, Tell me. What, what happened? What happened? According to him, he said I brought in a third party into her relationship. But trust me, I didn't tell anyone. I told Andy. And Andy is his brother. I mean, that's his best friend. Besides, I don't know any other friend of his, just Andy, and I know that Andy and himself, like, they are blood, like, they're close. So, how is Andy a third party? So, he was angry because you spoke to Andy. So he said. And now, you're talking to me. Don't you think he will be mad at you if he gets to find out? Are you okay? Whose side are you on? I don't even understand you. What is even wrong with you? You want me to die in silence? Don't you understand the need to vent? I don't, I don't even get you at times, Jane. I have problems and I want to talk about it. Then that way I'll feel better. Babe, now I know his fears. And what fears are you talking about? It feels if he gets married to you tomorrow and you guys have problem, you always go outside to tell people about it. And most men don't like it. Jane, <laughs> you make me laugh. Cornell has never, ever said anything about marriage. At times, I even wonder, Suchi, why are you still in this relationship? What are you doing with this guy? You need to just... Ah! You need to ask yourself that question very well. Oh. What is wrong with you now? Wait, oh. so no green light at all and you are still in the relationship? No, 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 no. Hold it there. Why are you throwing it back at me? Why are you saying the same thing I just said? I don't understand. No, 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 stop it. Stop it. Sochi, you hate hearing the truth. You and I know that that guy doesn't love you. We know. I bet you, as we speak, there is another woman warm in his bed. And anytime he wants to bring in another woman, he asks you to leave his house. Jane? Enough. Enough. My Cornell. Is not like that. Stop it! I hate your negative energy. Stop it! Don't always, all the time, because you do it, you do it over and over again. Each time I bring anything to you, you just try to turn it around. I don't talk my own, no. God knows. I beg, don't even disturb yourself. Your negative energy is even too much. Why I always have anything positive to say.
I am here to see the owner of this house, your boss. <laughs> Did he know you are coming? Yes, my name is Nene. I was here the last time and he really enjoyed me. Hey, but he didn't tell me that uh, someone will come looking for him. Um, really? Yes. Um, and that's fine. Just let me in. No, I cannot. <laughs> um, is, is, is there another girl inside? Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Just that. <laughs> Why, why, why are you staring at me like that? And why are you holding my hand? No, that I'm trying to check if it is in your gum lady or this under the almond dog, you know. If it suits to my orgasm. Uh, <laughs> can you do me a favor? Hey, I give you a favor. I will do it. I will do it more than orgasm. It has a good deal. That is not the kind of favor I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh God is not tell me you are coming. See, let me tell you, I will do it for an Oga. I know you. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. That is why you are rushing, you are rushing to see Oga. <laughs> and I don't even have this man's number. Don't worry, I promise you. You're going to have to go. It is As Oga is not available. <laughs> they say, when the desirable is not available. The availability is because <laughs> the desirable. I am I I Look at you. Hey! Oh, be I got What is wrong with him? <laughs> My daughter, it's okay. Just sit down. Hmm? I'm what is coming. his problem? Sit down. <laughs> Start don't worry. Just sit. Let me go talk to him. Hmm? You're happy, you're happy. Come here. Come here. Come here. What exactly is wrong with Ifai? Please, don't let if I spoil this happy moment. Besides, he's still a kid. Mama, if I'm still a kid, you're the one who is pampering. I mean, you are over pampering him. It depends on where you're coming from. If I is still my boy. Mama, mm -hmm. your boy. Yes. In Ingwaland, people of his age mates are already married with kids. You said Ungwaland. Here is not Ungwaland. Biko, I need to give him the love and, you know, little pampering that he deserves. He's my only son. Mm? You're welcome. Don't mind if I knew. You're welcome. Mama, please, I am famished. Any food in this house? Food. I cooked food. Very delicious one at that. Get up. Let me go and feed you. Mm? Hi. Oh, my little. Go, go, go. Don't worry. I'll carry it. <laughs> welcome. Oh. Yay. Hey. 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 Is this my team? Okay. Hey. What is the meaning of that attitude you displayed back there moments ago? I'm just trying to register my displeasure at her presence. I don't see it that way. Because behaviors like this would only bring our family name backwards. And you'd agree with me that we don't need that now. Okay, she brought shame to this family. 
She's a ridicule to us. Why are you all not saying this? Why? I know the story, brother. You don't need to tell me about it again. Then she should go back to wherever she's coming from. Because she is not accepted in my compound. She's not. I think you have not forgotten the fact that she's still the first daughter of this family. And she lost the right of the first daughter the very day she dragged the family's name to the mud. She has apologized to us. Apologies not accepted. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm confused. Even Papa forgave her before he died. This behavior and this thing you're seeing does not even make sense to me. Papa may have forgiven her. But I, if I, I would never, I would never, ever forgive that girl. If not for her stupid behavior, Papa will still be alive by now. Okay, just take a good look at us. At this our prime age. She took our father from us. We are now fatherless because of her. And now you stand here to tell me on what to do to forgive her. I would never, over my dead body, would I forgive? I will not forgive that girl. Ever, I will never. Everyone should wake up. Wake up. Brother, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, please. Don't tell me to calm down. I cannot calm down. Why are you not getting me? Wake up. Okay, wake up. She took our father from us. And you're here telling me to calm down. I cannot calm down. Over your voice. You know what? Just, just get out. I still want you to get, get this. Oh. Out. I don't want to lose it. Get out. Now. Get out! Lydia the Rolling Stone. Lydia of the Roller Coaster. You sure know how to give it to a man, you know. We know you're an amazing man. I know. And no one has ever given me the kind of money you gave me. And that's why I'm all out for you. Not to worry, my dear. You see? I'm taking you home this weekend to spoil you the more. Colin, <laughs> <laughs> you. you know... I Olive is gone. What? What do you mean? Wait, don't tell me she's dead. I am not talking about death. She left the house. Why? We had an argument. The next thing, she disappeared. She left. Just like that. Have you tried calling her? I tried all her numbers. No one is connecting. And you do not have an idea where she might have gone? No, 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 I don't. Wow, this is... tough. I... I suggest we drive. Maybe we could see her in one of the streets. No. No, you can't drive in this state. Look at you. You're agitated. You're under so much pressure. All you need now is to sit your butt in this house and cool off. Cool your head. Can you be of help? Help in what? You heard my friend. His babe packed all her load and left. You can help him get another babe, can't you? Oh, that's very simple. I trust you. Mm. <laughs> so. Hey, sugar boy. How do you want it? Dead or alive. Come on, take your hands off me. Ah uh ah. -uh. It's obviously both of you are sick. I'm talking about my woman here, you're telling me. How do you know the spec I want? She's only trying to be of help. He does need help. He does need help, but he doesn't know what he wants. Maybe. Well, we have offered to help. We have tried our best. If he doesn't need it. Rosendi, <laughs> now you do yourself. <laughs> My son, please let the past be in the past. Mama, she put this family down. When we needed her the most. I know, but we have to let go. 
No, Mama. I am not built to behave like that. So what are you going to do? Eh? Banish her from this community or what? Mama, I'm going to make her pay for every single pain she cost us. How are you going to do it? Best known to me, Mama. Ifani, I know you are hot, but please lay down your sword. Our enemies are waiting to laugh at us. Don't give them the reason to do that, please. You don't need to worry, okay? For there is no outsider that will hear of the things I'm going to do to this girl. If I stop this nonsense, does it mean that I cannot talk to you as your mother on an issue and you listen to me? Mom, I'm always listening to you. I'm always listening to you. I've never disobeyed you before, but on this particular one, I won't. I won't. I will, I will, I will not listen to you this one. If you go ahead with any of your plans, I, your mother, will not forgive you. I have searched for Olive everywhere and she is nowhere to be found. It's obvious this girl is no more in this town. Hmm. The same thing Connor said. And I'm beginning to share that same thought. You see why we always told you not to put your eggs in one basket? Bro, was it when you had them like two or three, this girl will not be giving you this attitude? It's because she knows that she's the only one in your life, that's why she's messing up. Jesus Christ, who the hell is she? You're beginning to sound like Cornell, and I don't find that funny. Bro, you need to wake up. I don't like it when this girl toss you around. For how long would this continue? <sighs> For as long as I love her, I am in love with that girl, and that is that. Would you want to come down here or drive along with me? I bet I can drive with you now before you go hug transformer. That's a woman. Crazy ass. <laughs> Fanny, the man you are talking on avenging his death was my husband and the father to all of you. Mama, what vengeance are you talking about, if I may ask? And you still have mouth to be talking. Excuse me? I beg your pardon? Listen to me, Ifani. What I want to take from you is to talk to me anyhow. I swear to God, you will see the other side of me. And what will happen if I talk to you anyhow? Oh, hmm? brother, stop. All this is not necessary. Can we just bury the past and move on as one big family? I cannot move on with this, this creature that deliberately killed my father. I cannot move on. I'm sorry. Oh, please. Yes, I know I did something that led to Papa's death. But I have done so many other things that have covered up for it. What does you want from me? There's nothing you can do that will ever heal the hole you've created in our heart. There's nothing you can do. So you do me a favor, you get out from this house. Really? Because you don't belong here. No, you know, I think you should do something for me. Why don't you go to the bedroom, soak yourself with water and go hug a huge transformer. No. Then I will feel better. If I, what do you want? What exactly do you want? Mama, I've told you earlier. What I want to do is in my heart. Mama, okay? Please. And you will start seeing them when they start unfolding. Oh, please get out. Go and take several seats with horns. Brother Ifi, it's okay now. Even Papa will not be happy in his grave, seeing all, all of us fight amongst ourselves. On the contrary, Father will be very, very happy seeing me talking about avenging his death. Yes, he'll be very, very happy. Mama, it's because of you. It's because of you that I'm keeping quiet. Killer. Mm -hmm. You are a killer. You're a murderer. You're a polluted idiot. You are a murderer. You're an integrated bastard. I don't know what I'm just doing here with you. In our pussy, I like Sadra Gemma. After I'm putting me in a bag in a brain, you're not alright. You're a downfall of a man. You, Mama, and the people are not careful. This creature will kill you both. So I will not talk to you on forgiving your sister and you forgive her. Mama, there's nothing that you can say that will ever make me forgive this Jessica. You're a killer! I hate you! I don't need you to forgive me. Look at who you're talking. Forgive this you are a dinosaur. This is Jessica. You are a dinosaur. I cannot forgive this. Get out! I can never forgive this thing. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you too. Bastard. Look at him. 
Pastor. Mama, don't want to say, I can be you. I was in the my brain. His brain is no longer functioning well. His top of mind is not functioning. His intellectual with it is not working anymore. I am telling you the gospel truth. I am very, very disappointed. Even God and Satan knows I try for you. Now you need help. Now me they beg you to help you. 